Welcome back, ladies and gents. We are here today. The bait cast. We got the salty head, the bucktail, some jig head, salty heads. Get you some at the link down below. Save 10% by using promo code Texas Fishing Alley, guys. The two we cut some flounder, guys. Just came from Bass Pro Shop. Got us some gold. These are the colors we're going to be using right here. Let me show you guys. We went with three colors, three styles. That's the mantum shrimp, swimming mullet, swimming mullet. These are uh, chartreuse, pink, and white with chartreuse. I like these bouncing them. These off the bottom, they have a lot of action. This is more like a retrieve, and also bouncing them is pretty good. But we're gonna be throwing that, guys. We're gonna be putting some on the bucktail. Oh, and we also got these. I wanna show you these that we got. We wanna try these out. They're bass doors. They're just some curl tails, white with pink with red. Good to see. We're gonna be using that, guys. Hopefully it works out. We're here at the fair and let's see if we catch some flounder, guys. Early in the early in the season, but let's give it a go. There's been reports that they've been catching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, guys. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I can help with. So, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start with the book too. Let's go ahead and put this one on there. This has a little three inch finger, three inch swim on it. Feed it in like that. Just bring it right out. Just want to push it in here. Just like that. Just like that, boys. That should be doing, that should do it. guys there's nothing here so far guys did multiple casts only thing landed was a sand trout let's go ahead guys and go across this channel down there way over there see park guys not a successful trip right here let's head over there see we if our luck changes guys see you over there we're making our way down to the flounder spot this is right over here next to the pier. We're gonna fish it with the rocks, on top of the rocks, next to the pier. Same setups. If anything, we're gonna head down here and see if there's any trout. Maybe trout next to the pier. But as we approach, there's some people already fishing there. So we're gonna squeeze somewhere in there, guys. Yeah, stay tuned, hopefully we'll hook up. Wow, look at this massive black bull red right here, guys. Look at that. Oh yeah, he's there. Step right here, step right here, right here. Oh yeah, there's a bull. Bull red? Yeah. <clears throat> Hit the bull high. Oh! Oh! oh. It broke off. You got it still? Yo, he's still there. No, no, he got the line. Oh! He got your line. Oh, Came off, huh? Was a big one. Yeah. I just got one. Oh, oh, I just got one, dude. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. It's running, dude. I just got me a red. Boys, we just hooked the red. We just hooked the red. This gotta be a bull red. Oh, yeah, the way it's head shaking. <sighs> Let's see how we're gonna land this guy. Hold on, we're gonna have to. Do something real quick. Gotta take this rod out. Take this rod out. Oh, he's about to yank the rod out of me. All right, we gotta figure it out, boys, how we're gonna get this red out. It's gotta be a bull red. 
Woo, hooked up, boys. Look at it. It's over there. Oh, yeah. It's on like Duncan Kong. Can't let it get over here to these rocks because there's a big old barge down there. Woo, hooked up, boys, and we don't even have the damn net. Let's see. All right, let's try to let them. There's a huge barge right there, so we cannot afford to lose. Oh my God, he's a big guy. He's big, boys. Here, he's going that way. Let's try to see if we can land him over here because we don't want to lose him to this rock. We're gonna land this boy. Okay, here's a good spot right here. This is a good spot right here. Oh my god, he's taking drag now. He's taking drag. He's way over there, boys. This is a, this is a old, oh dang, I was about to yank this rod off my hand. Okay. This is a, it's a ultra light rod, guys. So, yeah, bear with me. He's trying to take me to the rocks. This fish is not stupid. I gotta turn it over here. He is strong, guy. Is a strong man. It's not easy landing him with a, a ultralight rod, seven foot ultralight H and H, 15 pound tight line braid. We got 20 pound fluorocarbon. I would say like a size six treble hook. I'm trying to get him tired, so once he gets up close, he's not gonna shoot this way because there's like a mini barge over here, and that barge he will break me off right there, boys. So let's see if we can turn him over here. He's already on top. He's already taking a breath of fresh air so it's just a matter of, of bringing him in oh yeah come on baby bull red it's the time get you some look at that patience was worth it shout out to the uh, the guy was Bung Cambodian he gave me his mullet he was waiting for me to catch one guys and then he left so he gave me the bucket with mullet obviously he took his aerator but, you know it's hard turning this fish with a and i don't even know if it's like a fully sized bull red it looks like it oh, yeah, it definitely looks like a full size bull red oh my goodness it's not the easiest with this fish. There's one big risk factor, guys, and I don't want to mention it right now, but if we land this boy, I'm going to let you guys know what's the huge risk factor that we could run into. Come on, come on. He's coming. He's getting closer, guys. Look at him. Look at him. Come on, buddy. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Easy, boy. We're going to put the brakes on you quick. We're going to try to get you on the surface, my man. He's still got a lot of energy, boys. He's not even a bull fool. Oh, yeah, he, I think he is a bull right but he's not even super big, guys. Okay, we got him up there, boys. Come on. Is it worth getting the feet wet? Heck yeah, it is. Come on. Buddy, we got him. Yes, we got him, boys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh, yes. Yes, we got him, boys. Bull red. First bull red of the season. <sighs> I'm so pumped, guys. On the finger mullet. Let's take a quick pick of this boy. Let's get a quick pick. We're not gonna take long because we're trying to release him. Just measure him against the rod. We'll definitely set him free. There it goes, guys. All right, guys. Let's set him free because this boy has been a decent amount outside the water. We're not keeping any fish, so 
you know we're not keeping any fish there's no point of just keeping them put him in here let's just hope he swims oh yeah he's still kicking he's kicking boys just get let that water run through them gill plates if it's croaking i wonder if it's a male or female there it goes there it goes Woohoo! Yes, baby. So pumped, guys. See if we can catch one more, and if not, we head out. But that just made the trip worth it. So exactly, what we catch them, boys. We had a, a, a egg sinker, Carolina rig. If you guys know, you know, a little treble hook. On that one where I caught it, I had a circle hook actually. Shout out to the guys that were fishing here. You know, they gave me this tackle because I didn't come, I did not come prepare, boys. I brought um, tackle to fish for like flounder, speckled trout, and they were pulling bull reds, guys, left and right. And he was like, hey man, come on, I'll, I'll give you some tackle, I'll give you some of my bait. Such cool people, guys. There's still nice people out there in the world, you know. They gave me some of their tackle. Thanks to them, I'm able to produce this video for you guys, so. Just wait a little bit more. Maybe we'll hook another one. If not, we're going to head out, guys. Yeah, stay tuned. My goodness. Not sure if y'all can see that. The water is literally way up here, guys. There's no way we're going to catch some trout in that. But yeah, guys. It was a struggle today. Started at the ferry landing. Look at that. Oh, God. Yeah, that guy's barefoot for a reason. Yeah. Woo. Careful. But we started at the ferry landing, didn't do any good. Came down here, was not doing good either. So I actually met some guys and they offered to give me some of their tackle. Shout out to them and thanks to them because we were able to make this a video, guys. Another day, another struggle. But you know, that's just fishing for you guys. You're not always gonna catch them when you come out here. And we were, luckily we were able to grind it out just a little bit more and we caught that one bull rig, guys, on a finger mullet ultra light tackle but yeah guys huge thanks to those guys if it wasn't because of them this video wouldn't be possible but anyways make sure y'all leave a like and subscribe to the channel guys if y'all haven't yet it's free and support the channel by leaving a like leaving a comment if you have any questions you know i can help y'all with i'm more than happy to help you with anything yeah guys we're gonna head out and catch you on the next one peace